Hello my darlings, welcome back to Makeup by Loka Miko. I know I have been MIA for a very very long time but to compensate for that I'm here with a gorgeous makeup tutorial with a bronzed and glowy look and a beautiful chocolate lip. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Here I am first going to take an orange corrector D34 mixed with my shade of foundation DFD. Both the products are by Krylin and I'm going to pop that on my lid to do away with any darkness and so that the actual pigment of the eyeshadow shows. Taking a beauty blender, I'm going to blend everything out and using this compact by Revlon's Nearly Naked range in the color medium, I'm going to put that all across my hard work. Now since my eyelids are completely primed, I'm going to move on with this beautiful palette by Violet Voss which Laura Lee has created, an amazing YouTuber. And the alternate to the fried shade from that palette is a Miss Claire shade which is 0215. We use a fluffy brush and we just intensify our crease. Moving on, we use the shade Hissy Fit, which is a textured eyeshadow, and an alternate to that would be the number 74 shadow by PAC. Now, PAC makes some gorgeous eyeshadows, guys, and the best way to apply any textured eyeshadow is with your finger because that's when its true pigment appears. Moving on to create some depth and dimension in the outer corner, I use Whiskers and Lou and the alternate to that would be the 24 and 30 shade which is a black and a brown shade from PAC and I just pop that in the outer corners of my eyes to create some beautiful dimension and smokiness. Moving on, I use the shade Sugar from the Laura Lee Palais and the alternate to that would be this gorgeous shade 54 by PAC which I use to clean up my brow bone and to give it a more highlighted appearance. Moving on, I use the shade Larly. Unfortunately, I don't have an alternate to this in any eyeshadow brand I know which is available in India. But you can use the same shade 54 and pop that just in the inner corners of your eyes to create a gorgeous highlighted appearance. Moving on to skin, I use this primer by PAC which is an amazing, amazing primer which really helps fill out your pores and also give your skin a smoother and a less oily appearance. Taking my shade of foundation which is DFD, I put that all over my face. Now here I am using a limited edition Tarte brush but you can definitely use a flat foundation brush which is 307 by PAC or any other dual fiber brush. Make sure you get very well into your hairline. We don't want any harsh lines out there. And we just blend everything in place, obviously with our trusted friend, the Damp Beauty Blender. Now moving on to my under eyes. This process is exactly what I did for priming my eyelids and covering up the darkness on my eyelids. So it's a very, very simple process and you have to follow it exactly like I did for my eyelids. Moving on to give my cheeks a blush and a very glowy appearance, I use this amazing product by Revlon which is the Bronze Glow and I pop that on the apples of my cheek. As you can see, it gives a beautiful subtle glow and a very light coral bronzy color. To contour my face, I use my trusted Hoola Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. You can use any bronzer you like. Also the Miss Claire shade which I mentioned which is 0 to 1 5. You can definitely use that to contour your cheekbones. Mm -hmm. 
To give my face a highlighted appearance, I use this amazing cream to powder finish highlighter by Benefit, which is what's up. As you can see, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. I put that on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. You can definitely use the Revlon Bronze Glow. The first shade in the Revlon Bronze Glow, you can use that to do this very step. Moving on to give my eyes some uh, shape and some dimension i use this brown coal by faces called in the shade metal brown and i pop that on my waterline i'm holding that brush so that my fingerprints don't really come on my foundation now i did my liner and mascara off camera finally i wear this gorgeous lipstick by nanka in the shade chocolate truffle and I put that first on my cupid's bow since it's a darker color and then all across my lip. This is genuinely the start of the show and is an absolutely amazing shade to wear. So thank you guys for watching. This is it. This is the final look. I hope you really liked it. I hope this kind of compensated for me being MIA for a very long time. For a bit of personal reasons but thank you so much for watching i hope you subscribe comment and like this video i will see you next time bye